here at uh, Kenya National Theatre and uh, we have uh, one and only MC Joshua Fagilia TV. Fagilia TV amekuwa kwa mahusiano kwanza kwanza ni niwaambie kidogo. And kidogo kidogo leo tumeona pale kwenye status za maandika o oh, mapenzi sijui nauma, ameandika zile caption ambazo zina ni za kidogo kutatanisha and we want to hear from him atuambie what happened. MC Joshua, yeah, yeah, mambo yeah. vipi? Mimi siko fit by the way. Ni nini mbaya bro? Uh, hata imagine hata sasa ina sija tukulia. Uh-huh. Uh, siko fit. Okay, okay kwa wale watu ambao labda hawajui what's going on, mm. first of all introduce yourself, utuambie who is MC Joshua and again now take us through the what happened. Yeah, so mimi naitwa MC Joshua kutoka pale Fagilia TV. Mimi ni content creator. Mimi MC, mimi ni hype man. Yaani mimi ni kila kitu. Eh. Tumeona umekuja na mtu hapa kando yako labda tuambie ni nani huyu? Ya, yeah, nimekuja by then about unza hapa hivi. Mm-hmm. So hivi leo singekuja solo. Najua hata naweza anguka so lazima ni kwa namse wa kunishikilia okay. in case. Yeah. Okay. Sasa wasa wa tuambie what happened? Ulikuwa kwa mahusiano na we all know you been doing so well. Mmekuwa mnafanya hata video pamoja. Ni kidogo tunaona unasema mapenzi inauma. Ni nini ilifanyika? Ya, yeah, so kwanza before 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 sijaanza kila kitu ya yani. mimi niliweza ku introduce them hapa kwa media nasikia hata nataka kulia by the way ya soni kamleta hapa kwa media soni kwa na hivi leo je tume break up pia ni mlete ya yani. okay. yeah. so tulianza sijui ni anze venye tulianza yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, pia tumetufanya interview tu yeah, i yeah. did interview and mimi hata mm. nashangaa ni nini ya na pia kuna wasi wengi wametuchapa ma interview so si tumekuwa fit by the mm-hmm. lakini kutoka sana introduce yule dem wale amekuwa yani aka change yani kitu kama hivyo kupata migeuka yeah so unajua mapenzi kwa tuna issue yani tunasema anga up and down sio kitu kama hiyo yeah so ikafika mahali siku kama leo tukaweza ku break up yani yeah. so i'm just Mm. Kwa sababu kujua wewe ku introduce them. Uko una introduce kama mpenzi wako ama mostly kama kazi. Ni yako ilikuwa gani mostly? Ya yeah, mimi nimeleta industry. By the way sikuwa nataka mapenzi yangu ikuwe yani ikuwe public. Basa yeye mwenyewe ni msewajiona. So ukapata anataka sana sana. Yani ana insist yani akuwe kwa media. So ikabidi nimlete huko kwa media. Una, okay. Unapata siku hizi wasanii wengi siku hizi wakisha kuwakisha bobea kwenye nini ya sanaa mm. katika hii umbrella ya sanaa unapata wana introduce madem tofauti 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 sio kama hiyo nilikuwa nia yako na pia eh, message kwa wasanii wenye wako na tabia hii kama yako kama ni tabia yako kwa hivyo tabia yako sasa unaumia sasa hivi ungependa kwambia ni wasanii wana wanaokuja ambao wako na tabia kama hizi zako za ku introduce madem katika sanaa yani bro unatafuta caption unajua <laughs> <laughs> ya yeah, mimi siwezi sema hii ni tabia mbaya hii ni tabia iko fit by the ya kuleta dem at least kila msea mjue na jua inaweza kuwa mtu kama mundi alikuwa na mdai so nilipomleta mm-hmm. ukapata asha give up <laughs> yeah okay so, i remember uh, nikiku host na mrembo wako nilikuuliza swali so, ngakwambia are you ready for the public uh, nini, relationship because so many people wanaingenga kwa hii mapenzi na wanaeka uh, maybe pale public because of peer pressure right and we have uh, one of your friend who is Godi Godi alikuwa kwa relationship na mrembo anaitwa Arian kidogo akaanza kudeta Arian ndio hiyo uh, no Nihan kidogo ameachana na Nihan and Godi is your good friend we all know that sijui kama yeye ni role model wako ama what is happening because uh, the same time Godi ameachana few days ago wewe ndio huyo umeachana na mrembo wako you tell us more about you and Godi what do you think about his story because pe umeachwa ya yeah, kwanza godi ni best yangu na pole kwa kuachwa so pole kwa kuachwa by the way na pia mimi naweza jiambia pole <laughs> ya yeah, so siwezi sema yani hatukua tumeplan kitu kama hiyo ni vitu zili happen so ukajipata si wote tusha nini tusha give up na hii mapenzi yani tusha break up in short ya yeah, so venye kwanza wacha ni bonge na godi kwanza before ya yeah, jua meacha na ude mara ituania Ya yeah, so yeye yeah, aliweza kusema by the kuna kitu alisema important sana. Akasema mambo ya watu wawili si tusije tukaingilia. Venye naambia wasi wengine wenye tuingilia pale mali. Mambo ya watu wawili msije mkaingilia. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah.
na hujatuambia what uh, was the cost uh, ya relationship yako ku break ni gani haujatuelezea hata tu atujui mlikosania nini ndo mm. level ya kuachana no? ya yeah, turudi na kuona sana mm, mimi nataka kujua <laughs> ya yeah, by the way acha nipeane story fulani tumekuwa kuna kuna huyu jamaa anaitwa Mundi atv unamjua mm-hmm. ameweza kufanyia dem fulani alikuwa anajiita baby mama hivi mm-hmm. akasema ako na mtoi wangu mimi nikakuja nikasema kwamba sina mtoi sina any mtoi yeah. so just to brief naenda haraka juu ya gidha mm-hmm. yeah just to brief eh uh, history ya baby mama ndio imeleta kila kitu yani ndio imeleta maisho kwa hiyo mapenzi yetu so ukapata yule dem hajaweza ku understand juu ilikuja nikamueleza kila kitu but aja aja elewa yani anasema bado niko na mtoi anasema MC Joshua kuna mtoto mali so hiyo ndio imeleta issue sana yani kwa mapenzi yetu kama kaido nasema wanasemanga mm. mambo ya kawaida huwezi ingilia wale ofuni jifunika blanket moja huwezi huwezi kaingilia lakini wendapo huyu msichana akomba msamaha je uta bring public tena ama vipi utaacha uta, nyuma nyuma kule ya yeah, so naweza sema mambo ya mambo ya kusamewa yani issue kuna venye mimi na feel yani mimi napaswa kujipatia time kama Joshua. Kuna venye yani sijui ni open up kila kitu ama unaoraji. Niseme kila kitu. Yani kuna venye huyu dem ameni stress tu sana yani. Ah sijui ni lie ama aje yani. So mimi nika feel ni kama nataka kujipatia time. Yani napaswa kujipatia time yangu yani. So hivi sasa hii akuje mimi sasa hii siko ready naweza sema hivyo. Siko ready kwanza. So yeah. many relationships zina watu wana break up sana and uh, what do you think should be done maybe kwa avoid this story either maybe mtu aeke mapenzi yake Sorry. private because uh, do you think ungeka uh, maybe relationship yako private hamu ungekuwa me break up right now ama was it a good thing for you to put your relationship on public Ya yeah, mimi naweza sema by the way kuweka mapenzi hapo kwa media si kitu fit yani mm-hmm. si kitu poa sana ndio mm-hmm. maana yake vile unaumia wase juu ya kuileta hapo kwa media okay. yani before Unajua bado ude mtu likuanga naye. So before sijamleta hapa kwa sijamuintroduce yani atakuwa na shida. But unaona ile day ya kwanza ile day nilimleta tu kwa kwa media. Mazee ndio kulianza kuwa na maisho yani. Okay. Ukapata hapa na pale kuna shida, tukaanza kukosana. But then tumekuwa tukikosana venye siko nataka kupost kila kitu. Unajua mimi nimekuwa mse, by the way nimekuwa mse tofauti sana na wale wase wengine wa best wangu wenye wana introduce watu. Mimi sijaweza kufanya vitu kama hizi couples goals. Hizo kuwaletea ati asubuhi eh sijui tumekula nini, vitu kama hizo. Yaani mimi ni mse tofauti. So sijaweza kuleta vitu kama hizo. Okay. But yeye alikuwa na insist mazee si tulete si tushutere tukiwa kwa kitanda. Yaani ameleta vitu mob sana yaani. Venye wewe upendi. Yeah. Okay. But mimi ni kwa nacheza chini yaani. Okay, anyone with a question? If you have a question ask if you don't have a question wacha tupatie Joshua the maybe you talk to your fans uh this is una jua kila mtu anasema oh Joshua mate ndio this ya mrembo juzi kidogo kidogo tunaona wameachana unaweza waambia nini so that hata ukikuja pale ku attack wakuwe na ile evidence ya they attacking you in a wrong way Yeah I mean I was sema to watu wangu ma fans waachane zote hapa hivi yani tusikuje na matusi mnaweza mnaweza fanya ni shikwe depression yani eh nikuwe pabaya so at least mkuje tu mkiwa wazuri unajua by the way niliweza ku post pale IG pale FB kwa stories bazile matusi ziko pale hadi siwezi screenshot yani so at least tukuje tu tukiwa pole msione ni mimi niko na makosa juu ya kuita wase wa media zi hao ni mabest wangu wote so msione ni mimi niko na makosa eh kama itawezekana but nimesema sasa hii itakuwa ngumu sana kunini kubonga Yeah. So are you planning to date anytime soon? Uh, naweza sema sasa hizi nijipatie tu time kiasi. Eh uh, Sijui nitasemaje lakini wacha tu nijipatie tu time kiasi yani. Mhm. Mm. But you mm. come through kwa akili mazee. Unajua huko huko kuna warembo. Mm. Uh, kuna warembo by the way. Ile sikia kuna kuoga ni kurudi tu soko. Mhm. Hadi huyu best wa godi. Unajua godi ni best yangu yani in short. Mm-hmm. So I'm a break up now with him. Bado huyu dem ako sokoni bado. So unamdai. Huyu dem bado naweza munini si mali. <laughs> si mbaya ni mali safi. Ah, best yako manze. Ah, kuna venye unajua sawa sha achana so eh. kuna venye. Hata godi ya dai huyu dem wangu si anaweza chukua tu. Wow. <laughs> Kama kaida wanasema mapema ndio best. Unaoga haraka haraka wafanya nini? Unarudi sokoni. Mtu wangu, unjua demo wako lazima uone kitu. Tukipata upate message kidogo palipo atakaye 
akati nyo nasitazama jinsi unaweza kumuanika kwa mbele mmachana. Mimi naweza ambia huyu dem kwanza atembeze kiatu. Mhm. Mm. Juu saizi ni yame kosi hizi vitu zote yani. Hizi vitu zote ni yame kosi yani. Mimi si yote niko na ubaya na yeye. Unajua kuna wasi wengi wataniingilia. Ji watakuwasaidia. Wasi wengi tu kuwasaidia madem. Madem unajua kuwasaidia madem sana. But it times mkuwe tu saidi yangu yani na wabebeleza tu mkuwe saidi yangu. Juu mimi niweza kusema shida ni nini? Eh. Sawa sawa Joshu tunashukuru sana kwa muda wako and mm-hmm. wish you all the best. Yeah. Kama kada guys pia mnajua pia tuzisikia pande moja pekee yake lazima tukafikia UX wa Joshu tuweze kusikia pande yake ama vipi 